cataractcoach.com, graduating from divide and conquer. After three hour cases done, why are you still doing divide and conquer? Now, this is an anonymous resident who's going to do a great job here. Watch the video. Again, about 300 cases done. There's one pair of teases, a little avascular for my tastes. Let's see the other pairs and teases. Again, a little bit avascular for my tastes. I like to barely hit those limbo vessels. Now putting in some viscoelastic, that looks pretty reasonable. I like the draping, good draping, eyelid margin sequestered, eye and primary. There's the main incision. That looks pretty good too. There you hit the limbo vessels a little bit. That looks reasonable. So some HPMC, hydroxypropylmethylcellulose on the cornea. And now let's see the Rex's technique here. Sits home going in. We sped the video up to about two times normal speed. And that looks pretty good. Get that turned over and let's see the technique here. Nicely, look at that, that's a good technique. You got good hands for sure. So certainly for case 300, beautiful, you're right where you need to be. I, I congratulate you on doing a good job. Uh, an entire Rex with just a cytotome, fantastic. That's a good technique to learn. It can be very helpful if you don't have specialized instrumentations and you need to do a paracetesis uh, based Caps Rexus. Remember, just one single pair, you get the whole Rexus done. That looks fantastic. Beautiful. That's a beautiful looking Rexus. Proud of you. Now, let's see what we got here. We're going to do some hydro dissection probably. So here's a, a bent cannula with a flattened end, some hydro dissection. Get that nucleus to spin. Hey, if you're learning cataract surgery and you need to learn stop and chop, you need to learn fago chop, you know where you learn it? You learn on cataractcoach.com. It's free. I got great videos for you. I got a free PDF book, 25 part curriculum series. I got a whole curriculum on how to learn fago chop. It's just for you and free. So here we go, going in now. So we've got the bevel up and doing some cleaning up of the anterior cortical material. And then here comes a groove down the middle. Look at that. Beautiful job of making the groove. You're keeping the eye pretty much in primary. I like that. I'd widen up the groove a little bit here to get the probe a little bit deeper then. Right now, see the sleeves hitting the side of it? So if you widen up the groove a little bit, or you can just crack it. Let's see you crack it right here and propagate that through. Beautifully done. And now another groove. So this is all using kind of a grooving setting. So what would you imagine the settings are here? Moderate power. You don't need too much power. And then you're going to have relatively low vacuum and low flow because you don't need to vacuum a whole lot here. Just the material that comes out. So here's a quadrant coming up. Very nicely done. So listen, divide and conquer is a fine technique. And you could certainly do it for the entirety of your career. But I encourage you, expand your knowledge base. Learn more. Learn to do stop and chop, which is an easy progression from this. And then from there, learn to do fake chop Hey, you did chop. Okay, you know what? You're doing a good job. Fantastic for you. So you're kind of doing a little bit of a stop and chop. Maybe you're just getting comfortable now with Faco Chop. Fantastic. Now, I made that title slide before I saw the whole video. Because remember, I like to watch the video for the first time with you. Then you get to know my real impressions. Nothing's rehearsed here. You may also notice that anytime I do a voiceover, it's one take. There's no editing in the audio track ever. Well, almost ever. So here we go. By manual cortex removal with the IA probe. That was a nice looking nucleus removal. So what do I think in this case so far? I'd say, can you make your paras a little bit better? Hit the limbal vessel just a tiny bit. I'd like that better. But even then, they're fine. I liked your main incision. I thought your rexus was beautiful. And I liked your divide and conquer slash stop and chop technique there. But I think you can just go to straight stop and chop. I don't think you need to do that extra groove there. Just split it in half. And there's a video I have where I show you after you make the groove there and crack the nose into two halves for stop and chop, how you can use the chopper to pull one half away to create more of a gap and then use the FACO probe with the vacuum to buzz in and bring the other half up. So there's a good video on how to do that. And now let's see, fill in the bag with viscoelastic. Here comes the lens. Wow, I'm impressed. You're doing a great job for a case 300. Fantastic. And now there it is, single piece of acrylic lens. Get that in the bag nice and easy. Get that position by manual IA to clean up the court, the viscoelastic. Fantastic. There's going behind the lens even to do a little washing. All right. I like it. I like it. I like it. Let's see that Rex's size. Look at that. Psh, beauty. That's a beauty. You did a fantastic job here. Let's see how you hydrate the incisions. That's a little bit aggressive on the hydration for me. Just do a little. Oh, not the walls. The roof. Do the central roof. That's far more important. But you know what? You're doing a great job. Fantastic. Keep up the good work. But listen, it's time to do only stop and chop for a while. And then once you're very comfortable with stop and chop, I promise you can learn fake or chop. And I never met a surgeon who became great at fake or chop who said, you know what? I'm going to go back to divide and conquer. I haven't met him or her yet. If you find one, you let me know. 
A beautiful case. Keep up the good work. And remember, if you're a young doctor who's learning, you got to use cataractcoach.com. Such great material, all for free.